video demonstration of how to access your Sharp SD card reports on your PC. Okay, you've popped in your SD card and then it's come up here so you can click to open the folder and you need to choose the folder Sharp, then ECR and then it will come up with a list here of the folders you've created. On this one I've only created one so I'll just double click on the folder reports and then it brings up all the data for this till. So for sales we go to the folder mark sales and then it's got it by date. So if we have a look in this one here you've got all the CLK ones are your sales by Clark. So if we open that one up, drag it across so we can see it all properly on the video. You've got here the function button, uh, the amount of times it was used and then the amount of money put through. So um, we can see Clark 1 has done a 99p void, they've done a 20p subtotal void, a £10 refund. Um, and if we have a look further down, you've got cash sales, check sales, credit card sales, cash in draw, and all the information, basically what they've sold that day. You get this report for every clerk on the machine. We've only got four set up, so there's only four on there. Other interesting reports, you get a department summary. So again, if we open these out, you can see that the it's got each department on there. So department one is goods. We've taken sales of 149 or 149 sales for a total amount of 248 pounds and six pence. It's got that information for every department on there. So if we have a look, sandwich, we just did one sale for one pound. And then if you carry on looking down, all the information's on there for each department. We close that one down and have a look at uh, another. You get an hourly report, and quite useful. So obviously, because I'm only demonstrating sales, this report will look a bit weird. All the sales are basically done between half past one and uh, two thirty or three o'clock. But you can see that it tells you between 1.30 and 2 o'clock we did 8 sales for a total amount of £2,919.85. Obviously this is useful if you're interested in what your busy points are in the day. Again, let's close that down. We've got PLU. Now this report um, is from the 307 machine which is the twin roll scanning cash register. Um, your 207 and 217 obviously don't accept a barcode scanner so you won't get quite as much information on them but it's still useful because you've got these are your normal PLUs here so we can see that PLU1 we imaginatively called it product we sold 502 of those and that's the total sales amount and that's the department it's in so if we scroll further down on the 307 we've got some barcode products so that's the barcode and you can see we sold 20 lots of beetroot pack total amount and then that's the department the sale went into so that's all useful information you can see it, it just opens up in Excel so it's all you can save it wherever you want do with it whatever you want um, you can also set it up to the journal roll polls um, if you've got that set up then you can go into EJ uh, into the relevant date and then I've edited this file already because as the journal won't open in Excel you have to either open it in notepad or or save it in Word, so this one I've been able to save in Word, but it, uh, I'll show you it, will give you an idea of what the report looks like. It's basically your full journal roll, so we can see here this was this product phone cleaner was programmed, that's the price for it. Um, basically journal roll is everything the till's done, so there'll be programming on there, sales on there, report information, so we can see here that's a sale put through at uh, just after 2.30 in the afternoon of the 14th of October. There are all the items that went through, VAT breakdown, cash tendered, that type of information. Again, you can do with this exactly what you want. And then uh, when you're ready, you can close it all down. Thanks for watching.